Okay, okay, we are back with more Nicki Minaj. This time we got Pound Town 2. I don't know, Pound Town 1 or 3. Um, I don't I don't know, I'm assuming there's a trilogy. I don't know. Produced by Tay Keith. I'm pretty sure this dude got some crazy beats. I'm pretty sure he got some crazy beats. Uh, is this like a remix of an original song? Because uh, I don't, I'm completely blind here. I don't know what I'm looking at. Well, okay, let's check it out. Wait, that's that's a new that's a that's a new producer tag. You didn't have that producer tag before. It was something else. Take Keith something Take else. Keith, these <laughs> I don't know who sexy red is either. If I, if I wanted to listen to this type of stuff, I'd go to Cupcake. She's like the queen of this stuff, dude. She got the these down bad bars down pat. But not only that, not only that, but she knows how to rap. You know what? Okay, I'm not saying this girl doesn't know how to rap either. But like, she's way more better, you know, crafting double entendres, doing this witty wordplay and stuff. Like, like Cupcake's got that shit down, dude. I'm curious what Nikki's going to do. I'm curious what, I mean, like, I, I kind of know where she's going to go with it, but we'll see. <laughs> what? Who said that? Who? See, this is this this Nikki wasn't on this originally, right? This is just a song on its own, and then Nikki got on it afterwards, I believe. Maybe not. But if that's the case, dude, I would not listen to this song. I would not listen to this. This shit's this ain't this ain't in my lane. Yeah, it's kind of banging with the beat and shit, and but it's just like it's like a meme song. When I find songs that are like this overly sexual, talking about you know sexual shit, like you know what I mean. I don't mind some sexual shit music at all. That's nice. But when it's just like this, like straightforward in your face, like really crude, it's just kind of like why would I listen to this? You know what I mean? The beat has to be amazing if I want to listen to this, but the beat's great. Hey, yo, red, my name is Pink. I made him go get that ink. Let him eat that pretty pussy. Now he keep trying to link. I I'm pimping Pinky Ring. His ex is his Mickey Dink. I'm about to pop a thingy, then sip on his drinky drink. Get the grip for my bitch's dip. Nigga with my tip. I'm a flip like a hundred bricks. Get back with my licks. I'm a bitch. I want fish and grits. Throwing hissy fits. I ain't talking about chicken when I jerk it with my tits. I be twerking on that tip. Plus, I'm slurping every trip. When I buy it, choke his neck or missionary doing splits. Uh <laughs> Wait, before she gets to the bridge. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. Nikki brought this shit with class. She's still doing a little bit crude, you know what I mean? But it's not even doing that. Like, it's it's not in your face. As and it's not like I don't. It's not like you know. She did it in the perfect way, dude. She did that in the perfect way, dude. My name Pink. I made him go get that ink. Pink, like you know, like like you know, uh, uh, vaginas. The dude got his her name tatted on him. Wait, who is that? Who? What dude is that? So she actually got a dude to get her her name tatted. Damn, <laughs> on his neck too. Uh, <laughs> the pretty pussy, trying to trying to link pimpin' pinky ring. His exes is rinky dink. Rinky dink means inferiority. Minus three upvotes. Okay, well, why are you explaining this? 
pinky ring oh because it means like his pinky ring is it trying to say like his dick's like a pinky because it's, <laughs> it's small <laughs> okay uh dude she went off though her flow was nasty on this i just felt it what is this talking about chicken when i jerk it with my tits what does that mean jerk serves a double entendre meaning a chicken usually prepared on a grill and jerking the chicken isn't jerking the chicken masturbating i get what a titty fuck is i know what that is she likes to call her ops chickens <laughs> okay okay uh, let's hear let's hear this bridge now dude. let's hear this bridge <laughs> Yo, listen, listen. Uh, the, this bar is like you had me in the first half because I was like, "What? He like feet suck on this? What?" And then she said, "Camel toe." That's fucking genius. That's fucking genius, dude. Wow. Camel toes aren't. Camel toe isn't feet. That's not feet. That's pussy, dude. I, you know. <laughs> but like, come on. That's that's funny. That got me, dude. Eat the pound cake down and waxed up booty hole waxed down. <laughs> I love that, dude. Nicki made the song amazing, dude. Wow. I don't like Sexy Red. I don't like her, dude. She doesn't... She sounds so bored. Why is she rapping so bored? I hear Nicki. She breathes life into the track. And we come back to Sexy Red. It's just like... Pound town, town. It's like, dude, are you even happy? Are you even getting pound? Because it doesn't sound like you're getting pound, or else you'd be freaking happy as hell. Yeah. Let my nigga, he just took a bitch down. Yeah, that nigga dig a bitch down. Yeah, that nigga eat me out. Oh, oh, oh. Why is she like not like flexing harder? Uh. That was, uh, Nikki's like, well, the beat is pretty cool. The beat isn't insane, but the beat, it's pretty cool. Um, but dude, Nikki's like the only good thing about this track. And I'm not going to like shit on Sexy Red too hard or nothing. Um, but it's just not for me. Her style's not for me. But Nikki taking that and just like, I don't want to say times 10 improving it. It's like times 100, dude. Nikki just, oh, this was really good. I love Nikki's part so much, dude. And then like a little bridge at the end too. His feet suck on this camel toe. Like, bro, that shit got me. That's funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Nikki's the star here. I mean, obviously. But um, keep it elite, man. Keep. What would I rate this? Dude, Nikki's part is like, like it's unfair because the majority of the song isn't Nikki. You know what I mean? Like there was two sexy red verses and then the choruses were just kind of like, uh, I don't have to go like a, I don't have to go like an 8-2. I don't have to go like an 8-2. It's still pretty high. It's in the 8s. <clears throat> but that's just because it's Nikki. Like I said, if like if this track didn't have Nikki and I listened to this, I would probably give this like maybe like a seven. I don't even know because like it's Nikki just brought the game up a lot. She should have had a second verse and maybe even do one of the choruses. That would have been dope as hell. But for now, man, Pound Town Two, Nicki Minaj killed it. Eight. What did I say? Eight two. Eight two. <laughs> Let's go.